All right, y'all, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of RAA. And in today's video, we are fishing docks and grass flats on this bad boy right here. My pride and joy right now. My goal for this video was to get on an inshore slam. Well, now where I live, that is a trout, a redfish, and a snook. And we did it today, and I'm happy that we did it. Nice little inshore slam, haven't done it in a while. I like doing it when I'm in the river. That's my goal when I always go out, is to try to get an inshore slam, and I got it done today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment, share. Enough talking, let's get into the video. Hitting these docks with some shrimp. See if I can get something to eat. A lot of my buddies say they catch a lot of reds around here, some big snapper. They see some snook around, but again, my target today is reds, a big black drum, or any kind of drum. Haven't caught one of those in a while. Been catching a lot of snook and tarpon and doing all that good stuff, trying to do something different. If you guys want me to do more like other stuff, like besides the reds, besides like the uh, snook and tarpon, go ahead and drop a comment. I'm gonna try to stay away from uh, catching cooks only because they are start YouTube is starting to demonetize literally everything if you all know like hunting wise or anything like that. So like they're and they're starting to do it with fishing channels. Oh there's a fish. A little first fish start morning. What do we got here? A little mangrove. Little mangrove snapper. Ooh, that's a good way to start first fish. Like I just said in my, like I just said before I cast underneath that dock. My buddies say there's a lot of mangroves around here. There's another fish. Oh wow, it's a bigger snapper. We getting bigger. We getting bigger, we getting bigger, we getting bigger. Another nice little fatty. Fatty McFat. Hope oh, just just don't let these teeth catch you. Alright. Oh we're new. I had a fish. I think it was a snapper. We're gonna try to see if I can get it again. Just gotta let him eat it. Like that. Oh! Wow, whatever it is broke me off. Wow, wow, wowzer. I think they're good size snapper honestly oh nope little sea trout oh well oh there he goes I took a little uh, 10 minute or more than 10 minute break to try to get some mullet I got it took I got a lot of mullet the thing was they're all this big and yeah, that would work in any other area, but around here, there's not that many big tarp and not that many big snook. And if there are, they're rare. So I was trying to get some finger size ones and I got some, but it was just hard. I mean, it's a good thing for you guys who love fishing the big mullet for the big jacks and big tarpon and big snook down south, because all these fish were moving south. So hopefully, the because the finger mullet have gone through now. The finger mullet have gone through, so now let's hope that the bigger ones come and then we can get on them. But right now I needed fingers, and I got some fingers, not a lot of them. But we got enough to try to get some fish, so hopefully, and we still have shrimp, so hopefully we can get something done. Here's a red right here. Oh, 
I knew that Here comes a snook. And baby snook wanted that thing for breakfast, but that's not what I want. All these snook right here want my mullet. I, there's a snook. On the mullet. Oh, those are black drum. Oh, okay, we're in a good area here, people. I got something, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got a sheep's head. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there, people. Little sheepy. Took, got out of the yak. These red fish and snook aren't cooperating, so let's get some of these. See if we can do it again. Oh my god. Might be a big one. Yeah, it's a big fit. It's a good fish. Whatever it is. I think it's a big sheep's head. No, it's a red. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Finally. Oh no. He popped off. He came off. It's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it though. Oh man. Oh, I'm, I'm a little upset. I mean, he wasn't a big red, but still. Just wanted to get my hands on him. I thought it was a big sheep's head because I see a, I've seen a couple sheep's head, probably like 20 inches or so. So. Whatever it is, just broke me off. Gosh, dang. I should have brought a little smaller rod because the 7.6, it's kind of long for where I'm fi around where I'm fishing right now, so. It's all good, dude. Oh, my sheep's head. That is an absolute monster. It's like every single drop right here. And you just gotta let it get to the bottom and these fish are just annihilating this bait. There he is. Little Red, come here, buddy. Yo. That's the thing I'm after. Little rat red. That's not the size I want. But it's a fish. At that corner, all like 30 inches. Oh, I still have him. I have a fish. Yeah, he's just caught on something. I'm gonna show you real quick the gear I was using in today's video. It's pretty standard basic rig. What I got right here is my Daiwa BG 3000 on my custom 7.6 medium, the medium heavy action spinny rod. On the reel, I have 20 pound braid. And then the leader material, 
I was throwing 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I was throwing shrimp and sometimes mullet. Really, the hook I was using that got the job done today was this bad boy right here. A size one octopus hook made by Gamagatsu. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. The temperatures are dropping. It's getting into that cooler weather now, the cooler months. November, December, we're gonna be targeting big redfish, big drum, big snook still. There's still some big snook around. I've been seeing a lot of bigger snook still, which is surprising right now. So we're gonna have a lot more fun with this colder weather. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.